For this problem, we're going to find the volume given the surface area. Let's read the problem. The base of the following pyramid is a square. If the surface area of the pyramid is 300 square inches, what is the volume? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So by looking at this pyramid, the first thing I notice is that we don't know the height and we also don't know the slant height. And for volume, we need the regular height because we want to use this formula, V equals one-third base area times height. So right now I can figure out the base area of this pyramid. It's just going to be 10 squared, which equals 100. So I would know the 100 to plug in, but, what I, but I don't know the H. So I'm actually going to have to use two steps in order to figure out the H. The first step is I'm going to need to use the surface area formula to work backwards to get the slant height, or the L. And then my second step is going to be to use Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to abbreviate that PT, to find height given the slant height. So the first thing we should do is solve backwards to figure out the slant height. So I know that the surface area is 300. So 300 equals 10 squared plus 2 times 10 times L. That will be 300 equals 100 plus 20 times L. If I solve this, I get 200 equals 20L. And if I divide both sides by 200, I get slant height equals 10. So the slant height is 10 inches. And I'm going to draw that into my picture. Now I'm going to use that slant height to follow step 2. Step 2 says I want to use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the regular height so I can plug the regular height into the volume formula. So if I do that, I'll have 8 squared plus 5 squared equals 10 squared. 8 squared plus 25 equals 100. 8 squared equals 75. And again, 75 is another one of our numbers that are not perfect squares. So whenever I take the square root of 75, I get approximately 8. 0.66. And I'm going to use 8.66 as my height in inches. Now let's find the volume. I would have one third times 100 times 8.66. If I do the multiplication now, and I do 100 times 8.66 times one third, I get a volume of 288.67. And again, it's approximate. So I'm going to use the squiggly, squiggly line instead of the equal sign, 288.67. So my volume is 288.67 cubic inches.